Hey everybody, Logan here. Looks like PlayStation subscribers are outraged! Yes, apparently that's the thing. Um, there's anger going around. I haven't seen too much of it because not too many people I know use this service that's gone up by 80% on PlayStation. Interesting news here. Let's take a look, let's dive deep and see if it's upsetting you too. Here's the article. This comes from uh, a page called Gaming Bible. Don't know much about them. I thought it would be about Jesus video games, but I was wrong. But hey, here we go. It says PlayStation subscribers outraged by 80% price hike. That sounded a bit much. And then I read on, found out that, well, it's not what I was expecting. It's no secret that gaming can be a very expensive hobby with consoles, subscriptions, accessories, and game releases to keep up with. It can be difficult to balance your gaming budget. True. With that in mind, it's never ideal when we're met with news of a price rise. Just last year, PlayStation Plus users felt the sting when subscription costs went soaring, as I did. I was premium, I'm no longer premium, I'm just, what is it, the core, the base level, just so I could play games online. Yeah. It's a shame then that some PlayStation users have once again been greeted by an unfortunate price hike. PlayStation has begun informing EA Play subscribers that the service subscription cost is set to rise by a whopping 80%, taking it from, all right, the first part of the article has pounds and we're going to get into the dollar conversion later on, but apparently it looks like it started in the UK. Taking it from 1999 pounds a year in the UK to 3599 pounds. Uh this was first brought to light by Reddit user that over the PlayStation subreddit. But as I'm sure you're aware, EA Play is available across multi multiple platforms, so this rise will affect Xbox and PC users as well. So the reason why I focused on PlayStation, because that's the way the article did, and I couldn't find one um, per se. I'm, I'm sure there might be one out there that I just missed that focused on just the EA Play. But it's interesting that it was brought up in the PlayStation subreddit. So that's where I guess people are getting very upset. If I'm not mistaken, is it included in Game Pass Ultimate? So that makes me think in the future, is it going to affect Game Pass Ultimate pricing? That makes you think. But the fact that it's included there means it's really only affecting PlayStation and PC users big time if they're doing uh, EA Play individually. Again, I don't know anybody who is. Most people I know who have or are doing anything with EA Play, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Let's continue reading. EA has confirmed that the standard tier, tier will rise from $4.99 to $5.99, while the annual fee will rise from $29.99 to $39.99. Pro subscriptions are going up as well. These are increasing from $14.99 to $16.99 or $99.99 to $119 with the annual membership. Many blasted the move, especially given the tough economic climate many of us find ourselves in. Quote, I knew this was uh, coming, but the audacity to almost double it is hilarious. End quote. Wrote that person uh, while another person <laughs> added, quote, absolutely disgraceful. I thought I may have missed some previous price rises for it to be $35.99. Rubbish subscription already, but definitely will be canceling now." End quote. So the rest is more quotes and then we go down to another article. Any of you guys watching this now, do you have EA Play? I don't know anybody who does. Let me know in the comments below. With EA Play skyrocketing in price, those few people that are subscribed to it are really going to feel the sting. Again, brings me back to the whole Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Will this cause Xbox to raise in price? Uh, Xbox Game Pass to go up? 
or do they have some kind of a deal with EA to keep it from going up? Is it really just going to be PC and PlayStation where we find it impacting? Because I know you can do EA Play individually on Xbox, but it's weird when it's included with Game Pass. Is it even worth it these days with all the digital stuff, people getting pissed, Ubisoft snatching the crew, even if you own it, doesn't matter, you can't play it, there goes your $70 or $60, whatever it cost back when it came out. Gen Z, is that what they call them? Them kids, kids, now playing retro games like us old heads right here. You know, with the Mega Mans and the, and the Castlevanias and all the good stuff and them going to uh, arcades and barcades becoming a big thing nowadays. Everybody wants the old stuff. Why? Because they don't have to worry about this kind of stuff. They don't have to worry about the digital subscriptions. They don't have to worry about actually losing your game that you thought you bought. Interesting. Once you own a Super Nintendo game or Sega Genesis or a Nintendo 64 PS1 game on the original console, you own it. Even going up to Xbox 360 for the most part, and that's going up in price, but that's a whew, that's a topic for another video. That's kind of where it started with that day one patch and stuff like that. But going back to cartridge-based systems or early disc-based systems, you don't have to worry about this. Yeah, you're going to pay a little more, but you don't have to worry about subscription fees. You don't have to worry about compatibility. You don't have to worry about them just snatching it away from your digital catalog if you own the physical disc. And a lot of people seem to be going back to that. It's a head scratcher. What are you going to do? Do you care if EA Play went up in price? Do you even subscribe? I want to hear from the people that actually subscribe to EA Play individually outside of, say, Game Pass Ultimate. Do you subscribe on PlayStation? Do you subscribe on PC? Does this even matter to you? If you've watched this and went, who gives a crap? Tell me in the comments. I want to know. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video. Make sure you turn that bell on for notifications. And hey, we now have channel memberships where you can join, get all kinds of fun emojis, and we're going to start doing all kinds of great stuff uh, for members down the line. We just launched it. Join us. Join us. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Again, God bless you all. And like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.